Yo, what's up, bro? How you doing, my friend? I've been good, man. How have you been? I'm alive and kicking in the future of the uh, apocalypse. <laughs> I heard that. You and I both sitting in this apocalypse. Let me uh hit my light real quick. I got a extra little light in here there. Yep, I got you. There we go. I had to put on my set my thing up, man. Yeah, same here. I'm trying to do that too right now. All right. You hear me okay though? Yeah, I got you. Okay. You solidly on. Wait, you see video? I just You see video of me right now? Yeah, you I, I got you. You got your back screen up and everything. Mine for some reason is reflecting dark on me. Yeah, I can't see anything. Oh, I know what that is. That's this side. Uh, shit. All right. <laughs> How we looking? Yeah. Okay, too much light. I see like a, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just trying to figure out what, I can't see my screen right now. Oh, okay, yeah, you got some kind of um, strange feedback color on there too. All right, let me let me hang up and call you right back. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. I'll be sitting there. All right. Click back in. White. Uh oh, did I hit record? <laughs> you in now? I see you. You see me? I, don't, I see nothing. I don't know what's going on. I you gotta I hit your, your camera. You gotta hit your camera. My camera. Oh. <laughs> Wait, at the bottom it says stop video on the camera. That's the only I got it so you can come on in. Yeah, I mean mm -hmm. on my side it's telling it's it's showing me that everything is all all systems go on your side and I yeah. can see and hear you. I oh I can I cannot hear I cannot I cannot see you. I can hear you fine, but I can't I have no just, idea. How are you just seeing yourself? I'm not even seeing that. I have a black screen. Oh man, I'm not sure because I I see you, bro. I, I got yeah, you. I believe you. I believe you. I'm just trying to figure out why I can't. This is, I've done like eight of these things and I cannot for the life of me figure out what's going on right now. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah, no problem. I'm here. <laughs> okay, do, uh, do, I, I can't see anything. We still do it. Though. I mean, well, I can talk to you. That's not a problem. As long as I look okay. You should. <laughs> you got a lot of gray. I want to say that. I ain't seen you with this much gray before, you know. <laughs> it has been a little while, but God, is life treating you like that, Mo? <laughs> You, you well, there you go. You there know what I'm saying? See you now. There I am. Okay. Okay, right. you see yourself now. Let me let me put this in it. Let me put this up. Hold on, give me one second. I got okay. you there. I don't know what's going on. I might have to edit all of this out, bro. Oh yeah, we need to definitely <laughs> edit all this out. Definitely. Because <laughs> I'm about to tell you go fuck yourself with that comment about the gray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we go hey, back like that though, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm still here. That's the thing. I'm still here. Yeah, hey man, God's blessings is that's all you can ask for, man. You still hey, here? Guys, how you been up there? How you how you hang out in Chicago? Wait, we go. Are we live right now? Are we doing this? How, yeah, how yeah, we... yeah, yeah. From okay. the moment I from the moment I hit you, I, I started recording because I thought you was ready. Yo, you were sitting there. You when you came in, you got your background up. You got you know you sitting chilling. Everything's good with you. You know. Good. Okay. I'm just making sure everything's good for everybody. I don't want to come on look come on looking stupid. Like where my my butt's out. Sorry, I wasn't looking <laughs> with the camera out. I didn't have, yeah. I so how's everything in Chicago right now? Right. 
Yeah, well, I'm outside of Chicago. I, I live in, a, well, I stay right now in Evanston, which is right on okay. the top of Chicago. Okay, so How you, you so you okay right now? You the zombies, the walkers haven't started coming for you yet. No, no, I ain't I ain't in no whole lot of trouble. Our our um gov our little city management is still in like a motherfucker though. That's all. I oh can really? Say. Oh man, you know this this is the time when everybody starts to steal. You know when they oh yeah the government oh, yeah. put out uh what they had like five hundred billion dollars and all of a sudden it's gone in one week. <laughs> I know, I know. I they know. gave like, it really? to all the business. Y'all spent well, first of all, you shouldn't be giving twenty million dollars to the Olive Garden chain. That's not <laughs> right. a fucking small business. Exactly. Only, uh-uh. No, that's not the people who make the the the, the breadsticks. That might be a small business, but Olive Garden is not a small business. No, not at all. <laughs> In fact, they they own everything, including Red Lobster. You know exactly. So they, <laughs> so, they, they need to get that money back because all he doing is buying another boat. Yeah, that's oh, all man. that is. And and uh and Stormy Daniels gonna get some of them dollars. That's how it's going. <laughs> <to happen. laughs> well, you know, strip clubs aren't in a recession. I think they're essential. So yeah, so that's what's up, man. Um, yeah. So hey, first of all, thank you for uh joining my my uh little show slash podcast deal, man. Uh, what I'm doing is uh I'm contacting a lot of my uh you know road comics that have you know gone on to do good things. That's still in the game because, as you know, man, shit, it's a lot of dudes that drop totally off. You know what I mean? Yep. No, yep. Ain't even uh, ain't ain't even doing no shows. They they like teachers and barbers and shit right, right. now. You know? Oh yeah, that's, I know. I'm, that's what that's what I said earlier. I'm still here. Yeah, I got this exactly. grade, but I'm still here. I'm still in. The, I'm still on that stage nightly. Well, yeah. before this nightly. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, because I've already started, man. Go ahead and give my uh people a little brief of of who you are. I know you hail out of Memphis, right? Hail out of Memphis, born and raised. Mo Alexander, uh, stand up comic for over twenty five years. Uh, haven't had a day job since twenty five years, and yeah. uh, you know, just one of out- the best to do it, man. I, you know I what I'm saying? That. That's, no, yeah. that's that's the truth, bro. A lot of these cats, uh, I start off talking like this, man. I see, a, I go to Netflix and I see a lot of these dudes get their little Netflix deals. And I'm like, man, I know a lot of killers out there, man, that, that should have this. Because, you know, I look at Netflix and think like 80% of their shit is terrible. Right. I agree. I, there's so much. The, 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 the few that they have on there who are hilarious make up for the, the 80% of just, I can't believe this is on TV. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, or how much did this dude get paid out of that? If they not yeah. giving Monique two billion dollars, what what are they giving these dudes? Shit. You know what? You know what? If, but I I can't even hate them for it because you know if you can build up an audience for that first thing where they pay you seven dollars and fifty cents for it, you can yeah. come back and make thirteen dollars the next time. That's you know hey, I can't. Hate them. What I'm talking ain't hatred, bro. It's the facts. You know. No, you're right. So, you're right. You absolutely. So right. I ain't trying. Right. I didn't right. mention no names. I ain't nah, saying I hey, I've this dude. Names. This dude. We ain't mentioned any names because we got, probably had to work with some of them at some point. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Ask them for some stage time. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. So I ain't mad at them. That's what's up. So what? What were your? I know you had just uh, kind of flipped the Kevin Hart thing right before the uh, COVID hit. Man, wasn't that well? That, like, that was about a year ago. We did the Kevin Hart thing. We got on that uh, Kevin Hart's uh, Heart of the City. Uh, right before the COVID thing hit, I filmed something for Amazon called Punching Below the Bible Belt. Okay. And that's supposed to be out some point this month. I don't even nobody told me the real dates or anything. But okay. I got to close. They did like five episodes. I got to close out the last one. And okay. I, was, I I destroyed that room. Was, they had they had no idea what was I happening. I know they didn't. <laughs> I know they didn't know. <laughs> they had no that's idea cool. I was gonna hit them that hard. I'm like, really? That's how much time you want me to do? I'm about to punch these people in the face literally with jokes. Okay, let's go. And <laughs> let me tell you how much fun I had on that show. Yeah. Because here, Aaron, you and me, we've known each other for a long time. Here's the thing about certain comics, though, because we got we met we got along immediately, right? Yeah. But there yeah. are comics, there are comics you know that we work together and hate them immediately at the same time. Yeah. Well, one, well, one of those people was on my show that night with that hope with that tape that we taped. Yeah. And uh, the greatest feeling for me that night wasn't the fact that I rocked that room. The feeling for me was when I walked off stage and he had his head down looking for the floor. The only words he could say to me. Really good set, and I was like, "Yeah, bitch." All <laughs> right. I had to be, I had to be nice at that moment, like thank you, and just kept moving because yeah, I was like, yeah. Broke. But okay. you know, that's <laughs> it was awesome, that man. One it was that one that was like, "Yeah, baby." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He was like, ah, ah. 
Oh, <laughs> I had that more. I had that Morris Day moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yes, Jerome. Oh. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> and I, yeah. hey, and to be honest with you, I wouldn't have expected anything less, man. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. That, that, you know, I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate yeah. that. Cause you, yeah. you haven't even heard the new stuff, or what I'm now saying is the old stuff. Cause we just recorded that. We recorded that in September for um, Stand Up Records. I, I'm the first comic to ever record an album inside of Sun Studios. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, we moved a bunch of the uh, m um, uh, the equipment out, put an audience in there, right there. We did two shows. Was, man, I'm gonna tell you, I can't wait for that to come out yet. I cannot wait for that to come out. Man, that's hot, bro. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah, it was awesome. Okay, and they're going to put the money behind you to market it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to yeah. make you market it yourself. You know? No, no, no. This is, no, that's what, that was the one thing, because all, all my albums are ever put out by myself. I've already put out independently. This yeah. time, I signed with the guys over at Stand Up Records. Right. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to do this right. Man, that's awesome, man. I'm I'm very happy for you, man. You didn't put so many hours in this thing and tow up enough cars. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying about that. Yeah. You ain't lying about that. Yeah, bro. I know I I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I had a I had a Lincoln that I had been stupid enough to take it out. It was a luxury car with the you know, it had the air shocks and all that. Yeah. Boy, by the time I finished this car was like a riding a willy, a backwards willy <laughs> from two to high. I was like, man, I, I can't be tearing up my cars like mm -hmm. this. Man. Dude, the, the, the funniest and most frightening moment of my comedy career ever driving anywhere, coming back from Chicago one night. <laughs> I, 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 I was coming back from Chicago on the, going down 55. Yeah. And uh, I'm driving my car, and I see a wheel come flying past my car, just a wheel. And, <laughs> okay. then, and then I'm like, my car starts to slow down. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that was my wheel. That was my <laughs> wheel, right? That was my wheel. Yeah. My car, the, the back tire had broke off the axle. And oh. Three wheels. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That was a frightening moment. I'm like, thank God, it's, you know, I'm like this close to the pull-off. So I just pulled off real quick, coasted in with three wheels. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a song. I'm in wheel, three-wheel motion right now. Hey, man, you lucky you lived through that, bro. Yeah, you, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> It was very frightening, but I understand T tearing up cars. Trust me, I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's part of the uh, road comic life, man. You yes, just, sir. You driving. Uh, people don't realize that. They think you just magically show up at the show and have a great time and a beer. I know. You know, I, I know. I'll be I'll be at a gig <laughs> in the middle of Alabama. So, so did they fly you in? And I just want to laugh right in their face by having <laughs> right. to take, take, a, take a little shot of tequila real quick, and so I don't do it. And just like you, yeah, they flew me in to, <laughs> to Jasper, Alabama. On a third, yeah. Where's your airport? I I don't know how I got here. I had to Uber. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. People just That's don't awesome. know. That's awesome. That's awesome. So this uh this comedy below the uh below the belt, man, below well, the give, Bible belt. Yeah. Give me a um give me a brief on what that actually is for the people that you know gonna be able to see this. You so know, it's a, I think it's well. I think it, I I forget how many. But I think it's a five or six episode show on coming out on Amazon Prime. And what it is is like the guy who runs the show. He's a comic out of Alabama. He was like, you know, I like some comic comedy, but I don't like the regular nice and friendly stuff. Yeah. So he got five or six episodes of some of the darkest weirdos down here. <laughs> That's great, man. Said the most who said the most ridiculous stuff on the stage. And so yeah, that's what's happening. That's what this will be. It's uh, I think I did like ten, twelve minutes of some of the most disturbing stuff I have. Man. Um, but I love you, it. I got this new bit you ain't heard yet, but uh, <laughs> all it is is my definition. I give the best definition of white privilege you will ever hear. Man, ever. I can't wait. Don't tell I'm it not, to me. I'm not, I'm Don't not tell it to me. I want to no, no, see I'm it on gonna, video, no, bro. No, no, no. I'm not going to tell you the bit. I'm going to make yeah. you wait, but I'm going to tell yeah. you what it includes. It's the only thing I'm going to tell you about. The uh, best definition of white privilege. The TV show American Pickers. That's all you need to know, right there. <laughs> all right. That's all you need to know. Yeah. I explained it in the joke, but that's all. Yeah, you need yeah, to know yeah, right yeah. There. I used to. I actually, I used to have this joke about uh, 
about the uh, the auction. You know how they used yeah. to do them auctions and shit, and yep. and it was basically a that shit wouldn't work for black folks type nope. thing. But nope. but uh, man, I can't wait to see it uh, because we need some shit like that. I'm so tired oh, yeah. of these little millennials running around here trying to make everything politically the way they wanted to. It ain't even oh, politically yeah. no. correct. It's really about what they think they should be telling you to listen uh, to say. You know. I'm like, that ain't how I work, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I come, get it. I come I, from the era of punch you in the nose if you cross the line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So You know, my motto is offend everyone. Yeah, That's my I motto. remember that. <laughs> it's offend everyone. You know, if, if, you're not, if somebody does not come out of my show with a problem, I did not do my job well enough. Like, they <laughs> apparently... I mean, even my fans who come back and see me like, Mo, you got me with that one. I was offended. Good. I wore three, <laughs> got three more shirts. Get the hell out of my way. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, selling, uh, you selling shirts? You selling mugs? Anything like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to do I don't sell oh, mugs. I, no mugs. I don't sell shot glasses. I do sell, I do sell, I do sell shirts. And see, I got shirts. Uh, my CDs you can buy on iTunes. My yeah. uh, current shirts, I have two of them. One is called the Pussy and Cookie shirt because it's a sexy, <laughs> it's a sexy little cat. It, yeah. Actually, it's my logo back here. If you can see it. Oh, back okay, here. okay. It's a sexy little it. cat holding a plate of cookies. Yeah. You have to watch the show for that one. And I okay. have a uh, Possums Love Mo shirt because I was attacked by a possum, and that's all you need to know. Okay, I okay. live, I live through the possum attack, and now I, I got that. this whole possum thing. So yeah. I love it. I love it, man. So how is this COVID affecting you currently, man? I know, are you shut in out there in Tennessee or they ain't paying attention to that down No, there? no. Well, some people ain't paying attention. Some people, <laughs> it's not, it's not hitting us too hard yet. They got like, I think my, I think my city in Memphis has like a couple hundred people, but they all locked away in hospitals right now trying to get better. Yeah. But it's not, it's not crazy here yet. It's not like New York or anything. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, they, they're, they're talking about opening the, the state back up May 1st. I'm like, but y'all said it wasn't going to get bad here till like the last week of May. When <laughs> people, I'm like, y'all ain't thinking about this. Y'all yeah. stupid. Let's just everybody stay home till June 1st, and then we have a big party after that. Leave <laughs> May alone. Stay your ass indoors. Look, we, got, we already canceled the barbecue competition. Why are you trying to go out in May? Let's stay right, home. Right. Well, we have a barbecue hey. competition in June or some shit. Come on. Yeah, I mean that or well, they are part of it. They know exactly how to control it in the first place. You know. I mean? Oh, here we go. I hate God, to go with what? the I hate to go too deep into the conspiracy, but man, I they saying June, I mean May 1st up here or possibly May 15th in Chicago and they was running like we was all we was going to all die when they first no, said. No, no. They, no. Yeah. yeah that I, yeah that see, that, that bothers <laughs> me. They are like, "Yeah, we'll be fine by May 15th." What? This COVID has an expiration date. You can't exactly. breathe on uh, on May fifteenth and stop killing people. Is that what you telling me? Exactly. It's just gonna fly away. It's gonna melt no. away it's like the no. snow. Uh -uh. And shit. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> That's I, I, the only thing that pisses the thing that pisses me off. I'm sorry. This is gonna make some people mad. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I, if I hear one more person call and say, "Hey Mo, did you hear five G call it COVID?" Nobody in this damn country got five G yet. AT and T is like. AT&T yeah, been lying about you having 5G on your iPhone for the past two years. They ain't got no 5G. They got four and a half G. Right. Shut up. I hate people like that. I hate that. My yeah, I, I have me. no idea where that came from. I'm, I mean, know, like, I, 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 look, you can, you can bake your brain, maybe. You turn it into a microwave oven. If you said that, I'd be like, that's a possibility. You yeah. know, now, it causes viruses. Kiss my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. yeah. Stupid. I'm not, at this point, I'm not going to buy into that. I also uh, didn't buy into the bat soup one. You know, but oh, the back suit. Yeah, you heard that suit. one. I'm like, what the bat man got to do? The bat suit, my bad. Yeah, they <laughs> said, oh, uh, it came from China. This dude ate a bat suit. You know what I mean? And then everybody, you know, he got sick, and everybody got. I was like, nah, nah, no, that's that not was, it either. That I mean, yeah, I'm nah. sure somebody. I'm, no, because you remember when the AIDS thing came out back then? Somebody, somebody had sex with a monkey. I'm like, you need to get the hell away from me with that. That's boy. what I told people, man. I said the exact same thing, and they said it was a green monkey out of Africa. Somebody had sex with it, and then uh, when it had sex with their wife, 
and then it became, and somehow it became a homosexual disease because she went and had sex with somebody who had sex with a dude in the booty, and then it became a, you know what I mean? It was so far bullshit. Hey, I would have slapped somebody when they said it was a green monkey. If you come yeah. up and say a green monkey, I would slap the shit out of you, right? Well, you, you got to remember, I was only about nine years old at the time. Oh, okay, you know okay, I got you. Yeah, I, got you. It, it was, I was about nine years old, so, you know, I was like, a green monkey? That don't sound right, daddy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys don't usually let you do that. No, <laughs> no, no. if you see a green monkey, that's the last thing you're going to do. If something wrong right. with that monkey, yeah. you know what? <laughs> that, that's the last thing you do. That's the last, if I see a green monkey, first of all, I'm leaving, because <laughs> first, why the monkey here, right. and two, what did I take to make <clears> it mean <throat> see it as green? I'm leaving, I need to go home, I'm calling the hospital, I took too much. <laughs> you smoke too much of that, huh? Exactly. I, and uh, and if I walk up to a dude boning a green monkey, I am going to jump off of a river edge or something because <laughs> it's gone. We all done. Throw we the done. dirt That's on it. you. <laughs> this shit ain't You're right. Like, okay, no you fucking a green, a green monkey. That means zombies are going to appear yeah. next week, and I just got to go right now. <laughs> exactly. Please stop, sir. I don't think that monkey gave his consent. You yeah, know what I mean? It's, it's not Louis C.K. a monkey. <laughs> oh, how you gonna mess with Louis C.K., man? <laughs> That's cold-blooded, man. I'm a horrible human being. Yeah, day. man. I, I, I personally ain't mad at him, man, because he didn't rape nobody. He didn't touch her. He just jagged off in front of her. Who ain't I done that? I am not saying anything <laughs> that. You are not getting my career into my career. <laughs> I am not saying nothing. Uh, hey, well, I'm in Chicago. She she can say whatever she want to out in New York and L.A. I ain't going like that. If I go, I ain't worried about her. Fuck that. <laughs> he dragged off in front of her. She should have left or he was on the phone. She should have hung up. All of that. She went, you know, I think she was trying to get famous off the brother, man. She out here like, oh, it's know. not, but see, it's not just one person. It wasn't just one person. It turned out to be a, he was a repeat jacker off of, in front of her. That's what it was. It wasn't one person. One person, that's like, oh, he had a weird night. That's what happened to him. He had a weird... But you get like 17 people in a row like, yeah, he jerked off in front of me. I'm like, ooh. Man. I never I never heard that part of it. I thought oh, it was yeah, like it wasn't, one to it wasn't two just one. girls. It was 17 more? That's a lot no, of jagging I'm, off to me. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't just one. It's not like one time incident. I mean, I know I know another comic that happened to. I know one, so I've heard the story also. From so, her, you yeah. heard that she was in yeah. the room. Yes, I've heard, I'm not naming names. I'm not bringing it up. I'm not trying to. Start, no, I, so. I ain't trying to get her name, but tell me no. the story. She said she was just chilling. They was it was one her and him, or it was a bunch of people after after a show, hanging out, doing their thing. You know, hanging out. He just like goes through, come goes out, come back. He's like, hey, do you mind if I uh do this right now? And she was like, uh, okay. Because first of all, she if said someone, okay. If, she was just like, first of all, listen to me. Listen, listen to me, Elizabeth. First of all, listen, just listen to me. If if that's somebody you kind of look up to, you be like, yeah, sure. I don't think he's really gonna do it. That sounds like a joke. That sounds like a joke. Mm -hmm. It sounds like something you say to one of your friends to fuck with them. Hey, I'm about to jerk off his ring right now. You cool with that? Yeah, uh -huh. sure. Go ahead and do your thing. And then suddenly, oh shit, you really doing that? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, uh, um, mm, maybe I should leave right now. But if I leave now, it's gonna make it even weirder. But next time, I, I don't know. I I'll, look. What? I don't know what to do. I'm not saying. This, I am not. You are not getting me in trouble, so you are not getting me banned. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me let me I'm just not, present look, this. Oh, it on, sounds like me. nobody was really thinking this thing through. All right. well, no, apparently one person was thinking this thing through for seventeen people. That's what I'm trying to say. No, uh, well, you know, I hear you. I'm not mad at him. All. I, 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 I say. Like, if he asks you, yeah, if you polite enough to ask, <laughs> and then Aaron, you're I in his God. room at, at a certain hour. You know I what swear I mean? to God, if you, I promise you, sir, if you get a hashtag that starts Mo2, I'm kicking you in the ass, sir. I swear <laughs> to God. If you're, not, you're not starting a Mo2 movement on this channel tonight. You're not getting, oh, change no, you're no. Not getting yeah, killed. Man, you're, please, I'm from Chicago. We're not snatchers or backstabbing, but definitely, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying you're going to get me in trouble, but you do have people watching this show, hopefully. So I'm not going to have none of them start some no <laughs> 2 hash marks. I'll be on Twitter in 30 minutes. Mo2. Oh, okay, <laughs> Louis C.K. did everything right. No. Don't get, <laughs> no, no, I didn't say he did. I didn't say he did everything right. He should 
you should have brought her flowers and took her out, you know, <laughs> and talked to her right nice, you know what I mean? Uh, I can't wait for my next interview. How'd you find the to the end? <laughs> well, let me tell you this story about Aaron Foster. Right. I was the <laughs> Comedian Aaron Foster says, uh, Louis C.K. is not such a bad guy after all. <laughs> you are not getting me banned from all my booking for the rest of the year. <laughs> when this is over, I'm still doing comedy, hopefully. Do not get me kicked out. I still got jokes to write. Do not get me banned from this world right now because nobody even looking at me. Louis C.K. Louis C.K. put out a special last week and three people have seen it already. Three. Okay, solid. <laughs> Netflix, like, how you gonna get three people? Nah, bro, that ain't the truth. That shit made a lot of money. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I, you I, I, I tried. Think, I, I think I, you're I, on I, the wrong side of history here, sir. I ain't no, I'm, no, like abortion, I ain't saying shit. This ain't none of my game. I'm just yeah. here. I live in the same existence or time and space of this topic, but I am not a part of this topic. Do you understand <laughs> me? I'm walking away before you get me killed. I will say the most horrible shit to people, but you ain't getting me into a Motu movement. I don't hashtag Motu. Don't none of y'all hashtag Motu. Follow me on Twitter, Mo Alexander. That's M O Alexander. Follow me on Twitter. Hey, they could, they could Aaron too. It just makes me popular. Me and me and uh. <laughs> you silly boy. You me silly. And dude, me and dude will start traveling together. You know, me. <laughs> Me, him, and uh, what's that porn dude that keep doing shows and ain't supposed to be doing shows? Uh, the Hedgehog. What's his name? Oh, Jeremy, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, Ron He's Jeremy doing, doing comedy. We He's could all do our, we could do a, yeah, man, you seen him? You didn't know he doing it? Yes, man, yes. Dude, I knew he did comedy. I didn't know he was still doing comedy. No, nah, know. He was still. Look, I had, look, you want to hear a funny story? Yeah, I had to yeah. open. I had to open for him one night. <laughs> what he does is he goes on tour yeah. and he plays this 30 minute documentary about his life. And what? then he do, and then he does stand up, right? And okay. the stand up the stand up is actually really funny. Could you know who wrote it? Who? Sam Kennison. Oh, he doing Sam Kennison's joke? No, no. Sam wrote him an act. Wow. Sam been dead since 1987, mother. Hello, that's where no jokes are from. <laughs> okay. I'm not right. I'm not joking about this. I'm not joking about this. So okay. I'm sitting in the crowd one night because I wanted to go check out this. I'm like, what kind of mess is this? So I wouldn't go see it. And the projector didn't work. Ooh. So I'm 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 sitting in the crowd with my friends and like, like wow, I wonder what's gonna happen now since the projector don't work. <laughs> yeah. The owner comes walking up to me like, hey Mo, what you doing for the next 30 minutes? I'm like, you fool, <laughs> He's like oh, yeah. Uh, I hope you I hope you hit him over the head for the, oh, for the uh, bag, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> okay. That wasn't a freebie. That was not a freebie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not a freebie. But then we took then I hung out with Ron for two days, and uh, we took him over to the old, the old Platinum Plus Club in Memphis, Ooh. the 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 best strip bar in town. You went into a strip club with Ron Jeremy. They probably about, treated y'all like fucking royalty. Well. I was the comic back then. This happened in the early night. It was the not early night, like early two thousands, where we. De uh, I'm the guy who took all the out of town comics to the club. Okay. So they, I walk in. They're like, "Mo's here. Let's go." But I call them ahead of time. Hey, I'm yeah. bringing in Ron Jeremy. They're like, "We got you, dog. We got you." Yeah. We walk in. They have a red cop that it was me and Ron and like three other people we brought to the club with. Uh, we sitting down talking and everything, doing everything. A girl around. He get everybody flocking to Ron. This one girl who came with us from the club, it was her and her boyfriend. Uh, she goes to the bathroom, okay? She goes to the bathroom. Ron stands up and goes like two minutes later. The manager of the club, 10 minutes later, came up to me and said, hey, Mo, thanks for getting me into the porn business. We got Ron getting the blowjob outside on the back porch right now on camera. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> What? Great. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. And what had happened was that girl didn't go to the bathroom, and now that the wrong one. Yeah, and then that's she the came oldest back trick and in the world. down on her boyfriend's lap, and I'm just going like, yeah, I know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. True story. True story. True story. Yeah, man. I believe it's true, yeah. man. Man, yeah. I hope he didn't marry her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna say what they might be into, but go ahead, do your thing. Do your okay. Thing. Yeah. Hey, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. 
So give me some, uh, give me some uh, post COVID. What you going What you talking about getting into, man? What I know, um, you're gonna be promoting your CD, um, your download, you know. Yep. Your uh, videos and this, what's this give me, you know, give me some more. <clears throat> Are you still doing uh, comic, com uh, you still doing like Heffron and all of them? Every now, every now and then, I'll, I'll go down to the Bahamas for them. But I really like. I'm more the I'm on the east I'm, I'm more a West Coast area these days. I'm playing and doing stuff over there all the time now. Oh, so okay. I, I come back with this. I, you know, I live in Memphis. So they're on the East Coast, so yeah. When I do, I was about to do. I was doing an East Coast run when everything got canceled. Everything got canceled. Yeah. So I just came back home and hung out. <clears throat> um, after this COVID stuff uh, comes back, the new CD is going to be coming out. We haven't named it yet. We're trying to figure out the name. I personally want to use one that I can't say, but I want to use the name for that CD. It'll be coming out on Stand Up Records. Okay. Um, I got my show that will be the first long episode of my internet show called Mo Alexander's Barbecue Beatdown. It starts <laughs> airing, airing May 15th. The first one is May 15th. Mo Alexander's Barbecue Beatdown. First season is Memphis versus Memphis because I'm tired of people in Memphis who don't know barbecue telling me where I should go eat barbecue. I don't, I don't want to punch them in the face, but you have to. <laughs> wow. say, hey, you need to go eat cork. If you come to Memphis and you meet anybody and they tell you to go to cork and barbecue, firebomb that relationship and their house. They don't know shit about barbecue. They don't really? know barbecue. Really? What's, I'm gonna tell what's you that the right story now. with it? Is it like, uh, it's the commercial shit or something like that? It is the commercial shit. It's, this is the race, most racist thing you would ever hear me say. But it's where white people are not afraid to go. That's okay. what it is. <laughs> is it a black owned joint? No, no. Oh, no. and it ain't gonna be that good anyway. No, <laughs> no. but there's a couple small little. T uh, I have a couple on my website right now, actually on the Facebook page, which is uh, Bar Mo. Uh, it's just look at my name, Mo Alexander. You'll see the barbecue beat now, and yeah. uh, we got a couple of these little short episodes. I ran into a guy two weeks ago, just on the side of the road, Aaron. That's one of the major rules of the show. You see an old black dude by the side of the road selling barbecue? He's got a trap. Immediately, right yeah. then. Just <laughs> yeah. right then. <laughs> yeah. This man, his name is, is called Smurfin' Smokehouse. Oh. Sweet dude, dude. He had a uh, he had a turkey leg that he was smoking <clears throat> for two days. Damn. Mm. With jerk sauce on it. I'm going to tell you right now. We He gave me one for free. He gave me one because we were doing the show. We yeah. bought a second one to take home. I'm like, uh-uh, no, we got to get more of this. Now. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. believe that, man. That's yeah. the same thing. When I was in New Orleans, they if you saw somebody selling craw crawfish and all of that out of a gas station, yep. it was the best shit you ever yep. had. Exactly. Better than all exactly. them big fancy restaurants and shit. Yeah, you know what no, mean? that's so, the real stuff right there. Yeah, Mo exactly. Alexander's Barbecue Beatdown, <clears throat> the CD's coming out, uh, Punching Below the Bible Belt airs sometime this month. I'm not exactly sure when. Yeah, but it's coming up. Uh, but yeah, that's you know that's what I'm, that's what I'm promoting right now. Okay, that's awesome, man. And uh, I think on that note, I'm gonna end this thing, man. And I definitely appreciate you taking the the time out to uh, you know reconnect with your brother, man. I'm gonna keep messing with you on Facebook. And I'm Please, glad you're back. Uh, you know, feeling good and walking around and getting everything. How's your health? Before I go, I'm I great, man. Ask. I'm a hundred percent, man. I'm walking so much better. Uh, yeah. The leg is finally mostly healed. Yeah, it's taking it's taking a long time to get the nerve damage done. I mean, back the, the nerves back to where I needed to be. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm good, man. I'm okay, good. well, I see you still dropping weight, and I hope you keep you know keep yourself together um, and keep yourself going, man. And again, I appreciate you. And I, when I when I finish this, I will send you a link on it. Bro. All right, thank you. And I'll post it on my site too. So I'm, right, I'm, well. I'm gonna go back and re-edit out that Louis C.K. part. But you know, you do it. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> you can keep it in there. <laughs> You'll right, make you famous like old boy said. I did not endorse anything Louis C.K. did other than Hootie Tang. <laughs> That's it. That's all. I'm Hootie Tang. That was it. I'm done. I'm, I'm sending it right to him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Look, thanks for having me, brother. Keep going. I, I love you, sir. And I hope to see you in person sometime in the near future. All right, bro. I always accept, accept uh, feature spots. So. No, I know you do. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do that. All right, bye. All right. Later. Later, my man. <laughs>